Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over installing our clutch and the rest of our engine components and dropping our engine in our car. Not dropping. All right, so now we're going to install our engine mount bracket. This is to prepare us to be able to put this uh, engine on uh, a cherry picker and then mount the transmission and rear main seal as well as our clutch and flywheel assembly. All right, now we are going to be mounting our single mass flywheel in place and we're gonna line that up. And Cody has red Loctite on these flywheel bolts. These are ARP uh, flywheel bolts. Okay, so while Cody's getting all these flywheel bolts in place, uh, this is our south bend uh, assembly. This is the flywheel. Now, this is a single mass flywheel. We also, normally from the factory on these vehicles, you're gonna have a dual mass flywheel. These are gonna be uh, a better setup for performance because they are less complicated, lighter, and uh, overall just have less give for performance. So they are, there is a little bit of a downside to single mass flywheels in the fact that they do make a little more noise than you would get uh, from a dual mass flywheel assembly. Okay, so we're gonna get our clutch disc mounted in place. Obviously it does say on the outside of this pressure plate side, you wanna make sure you have the correct orientation of your uh, disc assembly and also obviously the alignment tool here. Now alignment tools would come with your clutch assembly, South Bend does include them with all their kits, uh, and obviously we have our nice red South Bend clutch pressure plate here. Okay, so now we're going to install our transmission. We have our clutch assembly in place, and we're gonna do so. You gotta wiggle, you gotta wiggle and slide it in place. You're officially not able to fall off. That's good. We're officially tightened some other ones. So now our engine mounts are already mounted to our engine trans assembly and we are ready to put this baby into the car. So uh, let's, go, let's do that. All right, so now we have our engine dropped in place. We're now jacking the car up uh, because of poor planning. We don't have a lift open for us, so we are going to be putting the axles in on the ground. We're gonna throw some jack stands underneath. Okay, so here we are on the passenger side of the vehicle. We have our uh, crankshaft here with our fluid amper. Uh, we are going to be tightening the bolt for the crankshaft. This has a really high torque spec, so what we have to do to make that happen is actually put the car in gear uh, have somebody hold the brakes and then use our torque wrench to actually torque that two spec because it is a really high torque spec. So we're going to do that now. All right, thank you for watching episode six of our Project Mark 5 build. Uh, we have, Cody has helped us load this into his trailer and we are actually bringing this back to our shop where we're going to go through with the rest of the details for this build or a lot of them until we come back here for some fab and tuning at the rest of them stuff at our shop. So thanks so much, Cody. We appreciate you working with us on this. And uh, again, if anybody who hasn't checked out Cody's stuff, uh, be sure we'll link up uh, his site and YouTube channel in the description below. But yellow is the fastest color and they painted this one red. Red is the fastest color.